Your Holiness, I have a question or two. You talked about this self-transformation through the application of con contemplative practices. Do you believe that uh, whether it's Madhyamaka philosophy or whether it's quantum physics, they are challenging, very challenging philosophical demands? And we don't naturally think in this way. We think in the common thoughts and patterns of our lives. Uh, will we at some point become so fluent and uh, easy with these concepts as we are with the common? In other words, can we develop an understanding of quantum mechanics? Can Richard Feynman's claim be so, wrong? The quantum oh. hmm? I think that's a uh, question. According to my own little experience, I start serious thinking about, you see, the according to Buddhist mathematical philosophy, the relative theory. Uh, since it is relative, therefore no absolute. So absence of independent existence or absence of absolute. Okay. So that subject, uh, since my childhood, I think almost 15, 16 years old, mm. I already sort of developed some interest. Uh, yes. Then, uh, actually, my daily practice is to analyze the reality, myself, my mind, or everything. That's one of the most important part of my daily practice. So now familiarize, now last uh, uh, over 50 years. You see that, uh, firstly, intellectual level. Then gradually, actually sort of feeling. Now, you see that, the 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 so, as a result of this kind of prolonged familiarization and uh, reflection uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, so uh, it was His Holiness was saying that when I, you know, consciously bring up the notion of uh, absence of in intrinsic existence or emptiness, that immediately is able to kind of create a flavor, so that his perception of the world becomes almost has this illusion-like quality. So that, that, the very purpose of that understanding is reduce the extreme view of sort of attachment and hatred, anger, all is very much based on mental projection. projection. So mental exaggeration on the basis of appearance of independent existence. So once you really develop full conviction, no independent existence, then, no, then reduce the basis of exaggeration, right, mental okay. projection. So that's the way to, to, uh, to reduce destructive emotion. Destructive emotion based on ignorance. Constructive emotion based on logic. So that makes differences. So, but that's my secret. <laughs> I, I do not want to share with scientists. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say you're doing a very bad job of not sharing it with the scientists. <laughs>